Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, I've experienced mm -hmm. some of it. <laughs> it's not yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, however, um, the man though has to go beyond that. Yeah. He really yeah. does. He does. Now, I, I do understand though that there are some cases. I remember in my own personal anger, I was talking to this older man. I'll never forget it. We was he, he, he had dropped me home, and I was like, "There's no reason." For, 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 a, for a man or for a father not to be there for his child. And he was like, there is. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And I was like, no, there isn't. Mm -hmm. And he was going to explain, mm -hmm. but he was like, he saw my hurt and he just kind of left it alone. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing how I remember that years mm -hmm. later. Yes, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, he went through something. Yeah. He, he wanted to be there for his child. Mm -hmm. oh. And let me say this too. I spent eight hours in the family probate courtroom. And all I saw was, I didn't see women that really wanted child support. I mm. saw women that were trying to stick it mm. to their men mm. because they were hurt. Mm -hmm. That is just a result of unforgiveness and you need to forgive. And you don't need to forgive for him, you need to forgive for you. One of the motivational speakers says, confused people do nothing, mm. you know? And I think that um, what is important is that, you know, if you are in pain and if you're going through, through certain things, get around some positive people. Go to church. Mm -hmm. um, get around some people that are going to empower you and give you some information that is going to help you. And it may mean that, you know what, they're going to tell you something that you don't want to hear, mm -hmm. but it's going to be good for you. Um, because like this brother said, you know what, he ended up in some bad places, i.e. jail, because he was hanging around with the wrong people. And there will always be people like that. And you don't want to associate with people that are not going to empower you. Tonight, our topic is the power and purpose of pain. And um, I am going to open up with a poem that is from my book, Kill Your Giants, called Silence These Voices. There are voices that I hear as loud as thunder and pouring rain. They are familiar to me because I hear them, but to everyone else I seem strange. Many of them come to me and successfully outlast my day. They are voices of my past and they are here to haunt me. I wonder, can you make them go away? Because even when I don't want to talk, they come and talk to me. And when I tell them to leave, sometimes, many times, they don't want to leave. Ah, uh, forget that deep stuff. I apologize. Let me talk about something else instead. Let me wow you with my talents, show you what I can do. Anything to silence these voices in my head. Now when you ask me how I'm doing, I'm going to smile and I'm going to say things are just fine. Because you don't want to know about these voices. You don't want to know about what's going on inside. You don't want to know about these voices because that's just too much work for you to do. Besides, if we were to talk and you were to be honest, I bet you hear voices too. I heard a preacher say that Jesus came to set men free. And if he sets you free, then you are surely free indeed. Since Jesus gave me this authority, then I can have whatever Jesus said. I think I've got the solution to silence the voices in my head.